Welcome to the podcast. I'm Matt and this is Dennis. Hello. Dennis is in town temporarily. I'm a refugee from Hurricane Florence. Hurricane Florence. So Dennis was here for many years and worked here at the Asian Arts Center and started Senior Taekwondo, which is what this podcast is about. Uh, several years ago when you left here, retired to paint, run ultra marathons, live on the beach, and um, podcast. 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 How's that been going for you? I love it all, especially the podcast. Yeah, living the dream. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, even uh, I'm Ooh. sure the hurricane isn't that, uh, wasn't a welcome event, no. but it's a minor It was blip. fortuitous. It was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, brought you back to us. We got to have you for several months and uh, some good workouts, some more training. So today, Dennis, this is kind of our Q&A version of the podcast. We have a lot of people asking us questions from time to time. We like to answer those questions. And the first question Dave asks is, how old is too old? And I assume what he's asking is, how old is too old to get started if you haven't done martial arts or maybe if you're getting back into it? Um, well, my answer to that, Dave, would be, first of all, I've seen people uh, do martial arts in wheelchairs. I've seen people do martial arts who, are, who have no legs. I've seen 95-year-old people do martial arts, um, and I, myself... I've seen 95 or 92-year-old people start martial arts. Start martial arts. Yeah. Yes, start yeah. and do. Uh, I guess the bottom line is uh, something is better than nothing. And martial arts is as much in your mind as it is in your body. It's a practice of mental exercise as well as physical exercise. So I would say as long as you can speak, or even if you can't speak, but as long as you can think and as long as you can move something, your arms, your legs, some part of your body, then you're not too old. Never too old. Never too old. It's a good answer. All right, so second question, Miranda wants to know how to choose a martial arts school. Uh, I would say from my standpoint, there's a couple different things I would look for. Uh, and the way I would look for them is I would visit the school a couple of times as an observer. I would look at the instructors, I would watch the classes, I would ask for a tour of the building, I would talk to some of the students who go there, I would get an idea of, of the range of people that go there, age range, economic range, you know, a lot of different factors, and I'm always trying to find a place that represents what I want to accomplish. So I would have that Alignment in mind. with your values? With, with your values that? and with your goals. goals. You know, why are you going to a martial arts school in the first place? Are you going there to learn how to fight? Are you going there to get in shape? Are you going there to learn the esoteric secrets of martial arts? Or are you going there just to get a black belt and show it off to your family. You know, it's all good. Um, so I would think about that first and then find a place through the method that I recommended uh, to, to find one that aligns with your goals and aspirations. I'm gonna add, because <clears throat> I think about this all the time, make sure it's clean. They've gotta clean the mats. You don't wanna be doing push-ups or grappling on the ground or come up with a ringworm on your face. That's happened, not in any of the schools that I've ever run, because I disinfect the mats every single day. They don't have to disinfect them every day, but make sure it's clean, it doesn't stink like um, a uh, locker room. Locker room, yeah. Laundry bag or something. Laundry bag. It's about the personality of the instructor. You have to have some compatibility. Make sure it's clean, make sure the instructor is halfway normal. Check it out. Check it out. Go see for yourself. The last question we have time for today, Scott wants to know what style is best and again, I'm assuming that Scott means, what's the best style for me getting started in the martial arts? Um, I think most people, when they start martial arts, are not really familiar with all the different styles. Um, I think, again, it's probably better that you have an idea in your mind of, of your goal. What do you want to accomplish with martial arts? What is your long-term plan? What do you hope to gain from martial arts? And I think that in a, in a lot of ways, once you familiarize yourself with some styles, which I think is part of your homework, uh, then you can again look for one that matches what your goals are and what your aspirations are. Uh, because some of them emphasize uh, one aspect or another, either the physical or the mental or the, or the uh, 
metaphysical or the spiritual, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, and some of them are much more about learning things in a in a way that 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 you approach gradually with stretching and a lot of practice and a lot of patience. Other ones are more based on if you just want to get in there and roll around on the floor and throw people around and, and do, you know, if you watch martial arts movies and that's what you want to do, then I would check out a style or a school even that emphasizes that particular thing as opposed to maybe Tai Chi or something that's a little more slow and gradual. Yeah, and, and we say Taekwondo and Senior Taekwondo is our group, but um, in the podcast, what we're really talking about, all martial arts. Taekwondo, like karate, like kung fu, is just a name meaning martial arts. Do your homework, visit a couple times, talk to people, do a little investigation, do a little um, peremptory sort of investigation. The goal here is to persist. And especially as an older uh, martial artist, it's a little harder sometimes to get through the inertia. And, um, you know, and there's already a sort of a preconceived notion that, that older people have some sort of limitations that they can't do this or they can't do that. And those are the kinds of things that sometimes it takes a while to overcome because we've been conditioned that way.